so hello everyone welcome to educera in this video we will be talking about loops so what are loops Basi basically loops is a method to avoid repetitive code let's say a person comes to you and say like please print hello world one time so what will you do in th that case you will simply write see out hello world once okay so that's a very easy task but what if uh, it tells you to write hello world 10 times so in that case somehow you can copy paste these lines 10 times and you will be able to finish this that task but what if the task is bigger like if you are told to print hello world 1000 times so writing these lines of code 1000 times it's not a good idea so our code will be repetitive in that nature and that structure will not look good so in that case what we do we use loops in order to write our code so for that what happens like uh, we can run our loop 1000 times and execute our code inside it and we have to write the line lower only one time for example in this case like uh, in C++ basically we have three types of loops first one is for loop second one is while and third one is do while loop okay so what happens like in for loop basically the syntax is like this for first of all the initialization is done here then we have the condition then we have the increment or decrement right and then our code is written here and in this way for loop is written for example let's say you have to print hello world 10 times so what will you do in that case we'll write for int i equal to 0 okay then i is less than 10 because you have to run this loop for 10 times i plus plus okay and you can write hello world here and you will be able to do your task just by writing three lines of code and not 10 lines of code okay and also the structure looks very clear here so i hope this is clear till here and let us see the code how can we write the for loop so basically what we can do here like uh, we can include our header file that is bits std c plus plus dot h then we can write using namespace std then int main and return 0 okay so basically i am using some input output pair lines you can ignore here ignore this for now so first of all i will be taking the input from the user like int n c in n so this denotes how many times i have to execute the for loop then i will write the syntax like as discussed for int i equal to 0 first of all the initialization then i less than n i plus plus and then i have to write like c out hello world so in this manner our for loop runs so let me give the input like 5 and now if i run this code so hello world is printed 5 times as discussed okay so it can be any parameter like uh, anything can be given as an input which is supported like uh, you can give 1000 10,000 as many times as you can want to print hello world so our code looks much simpler okay also we avoid repetition using the help of loops so this was about for loops moving on we have another type of loop that is known as the while loop so what happens in while loop first of all we initialize our variable 
then while is written and in the parenthesis the condition is written then we have the code uh, lines of code and then the increment or decrement operation okay so this is the basic syntax of while loop so let's say you have to write uh, hello world 10 times so how will you write with the help of while loop so for this you will be using a variable like int i equal to 0 then in the while condition while i less than 10 or we can use n we can write hello world okay and then we can increment our i so in this way while loop can be written so let me show you in that code okay so i am commenting this for loop for now now for while loop as discussed we have to initialize a variable first then the while condition while i less than n and we have to do something like here we need to print hello world okay and then our increment operation so yeah if i run this code still you can see like hello world is printed five times so let me run this for six times to get a better clarity like uh, yeah previously it was getting printed for five times now it is getting printed for six times so i hope while loop is clear apart from that we have one another type of loop that is known as do while loop okay so in do while loop first of all the code is executed and then the condition is checked okay so first of all code is executed and then condition is checked okay so the syntax is similar to while loop so basically we write do then our code then while and then here we write the condition followed by a semicolon okay and the increment operation is written in the last like here so what happens like first of all the our code is getting executed in the do do block and then the conditions checked using the while loop condition okay so for example if, if you have to write hello world five times what will you do do then you write c out hello world and then the increment operation and finally you will check here while i less than n and i is declared first as the case with while loop so yeah it looks much similar to while loop so we can see that in code as well so we need the i now we need to and we can write c out hello world now i will be incremented and here we can write our condition y i less than so we can run this for 10 times uh, so we can check so okay so hello world is getting printed for 10 times apart from this we have uh, two things like which is very important uh, break and continue so basically break statement is written when we need to stop the execution of loop okay for example let's say i have the variable i which is running from 0 to 10 and i plus plus what if like i need to stop the loop after like when i becomes 5 so we can write here like if i equal to equal to 5 we can write a break statement and what happens when i becomes 5 the this break statement takes the control out of this loop and our execution will stop and in the continue what happens like let's say you have to do nothing when i is equal to equal to 5 
so you can continue so for i equal to equal to 5 the loop will uh, continue and will not do any task and the execution will be done for rest of the i's okay like for i equal to 6 i equal to 7 it will run automatically as before but for i equal to 5 it will continue it will not do anything so let's see quickly this in our code so for example for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and let's say if i equal to 5 i need to break my loop otherwise what i can do i can simply print i so let's see so you can see when i becomes 5 we get out of the loop and our output is showing 0 1 2 3 4 so it ran successfully from 0 to 4 but when i becomes 5 uh, we have a break statement similarly what happens i can comment this out and let's say i don't need to print i equal to 5 so what i can do i can write a continuous statement so everything will be run from 0 to n except uh, i will when i equal to 5 it will continue it will not print anything okay so you can see in the output when i is getting 5 it is not getting printed so i hope the concept of loops is clear to you and uh, this was three types of loop that basically exist in C++ and uh, thanks for watching this video. We will see more of these contents in the next part. Thanks a lot.